Hi, I'm Eddie Vane, and this is my C-Tivers book project. For my book project, I chose to build a theoretical model of the bad guy, or guy's, grim headquarters. To make it not show anything, it's basically just a big gray block box. The only color is really the showing where the doors are, and the words grim HQ in big bold letters, so right there. And just to show how much I worked on it, each wall is 1,600 blocks, which, especially in Minecraft, is a ton. So this is the meeting room. It's got some chairs for you to sit in, because you wouldn't just walk into, like, a meeting or something like that in, a, um, in like, a government headquarters. This is the check-in desk. And there's some doors there so you can get in there. So that way not everybody can just go in there and check themselves in. This is the war room. In here. So this is my take on a table and some chairs in Minecraft. And this is a whiteboard, essentially. So first we're going to go in here to the barracks so in the barracks here there are about 20 beds for the agents to sleep in and some chests which include dirty clothes weapons toys clean clothes and other and then over here there's a TV because even though this takes place in the future, I'm pretty sure that they still have TV. So we're going to go back into the war room to go to the seed vault. So in here, this is where they keep all of the seeds. So that way nobody else can use them. Because Grimm is an agency that makes sure that nobody else grows seeds. And there are some... Plants such as cherry, cabbage, cocoa, lettuce, cocoa, lettuce, cabbage, and cherry. And basically any other food. I mean, I couldn't fit all of them on here. So I selected probably the most common variety. So now we're going to go upstairs. And we are now in the armory. And... Grim needs an armory because, I mean, they got to have some way of law enforcement. Like, they're not going to walk around asking you to stop gardening. I mean, if they don't, if you don't stop, they'll take it by force. So this is an arena practicing where people could practice fighting. Like, if somebody's trying to fight back, this is armor. Tons and tons and tons of it. And these are some target practice. You could take right here and fire a gun, practice hitting them. I know that this sounds a bit violent, but I mean, this is the government. They'll take extreme measures. These are guns, special forces weapons, bulletproof armor, bazookas, and cartridges. And again, this is very, very violent, but it's the government. What do you expect? This is the mess hall. There's a tiny kitchen back here, for a little cutting board, and the food is basically separated into plants, fish, and meat. And this is where everybody would eat and drink, socialize. This is the Seed Savers Prison. Another purpose of Grimm is to keep the Seed Savers from growing their own food. So in here, this is where all of them are. And just something really cool that I put a bunch of seed savers in here just for aesthetics but this is what it would essentially look like because there are a lot of them so we're gonna go over here which is like the sheriff's office just I mean there's just a bed in there and a chest for him to put whatever he wants in there so now we're gonna go up to the final floor we're gonna end up in the archive this is where they store all of their knowledge about seeds and farming. Even though most of it is done by machines. So, 
books and books and books and books and more books. So now we are in the map room. These are the gigantic maps of huge planes. And by command, by voice command, they can change the maps. So that way they can see almost every city in the United States of America where their power is. So that way they can see like where houses are. Each brown space is a house. So this is like a string of houses. This is some green, like, I mean, the trees or shrubs or non-edible plants. These are roads. It's great stuff. So this way they can make sure that they are keeping track of everybody and nobody's not accounted for. And this is the final part of our journey, the herbicide and pesticide vault. Each of these mini silos contains a different kind of herbicide or pesticide. Obviously there aren't this stuff in Minecraft, but imagine that this is filled with toxic chemicals that could kill you. That's why they're all in silos and they're all marked by their designs. Like this one, you can make sure that you're not spraying something that's supposed to go on, let's say, corn. You're supposed to spray this one, but to make sure that you're not spraying this one, because that would be very bad. And so, this is the end of our tour of my Grimm's headquarters. I really hope that you liked it. I worked really hard on it. And, well, See you guys next time. Bye.